Yes. Welcome to Nightstand. I'm Barry, and uh, hey, bud. I'm Nazasaur. Oh boy. You uh, know what I mean? All you have to do is put a noun, and then oh, sore. <laughs> My elbows are sore. Oh boy. So ah. Smiles over here is really excited. He's trying to jump the gun, jump the shark. Jump Sharks, the yeah. prehistoric. Jump the triceratops. Oh. Uh, That's what the show has done multiple times. Okay. Uh, this episode, we're going to get right to it because of a lot of um, issues we've been having. Both, What's it called? Both familial, oh. both uh, technical, Jesus, uh, and also uh, spiritual. Do you want to tell the story before the announcement? Uh, sure. So we filmed an episode of last week, slash 25 minutes ago, uh, about Superman. Uh, it was about 27 minutes long, and we went to go transfer it over to the computer, and the file was corrupted. So we blew 27 minutes. When I tell you it was powered by the red son of Earth. Still wants to do it, as you can tell. That um, was a good episode. We may or may not just put it out as a podcast episode, no video, just our audio uh, we may redo it. Who knows? But that's not important right now because cool what we're going to do is we're going to get away from the red sun of Krypton and we're going to get down to the... Oh, it's uh, the yellow sun of Earth. Yes, it is. Fuck me. <laughs> you know what? That last episode was trash. Yeah, yeah. Fucking trash it. You'll never see it. You'll never hear it. Right. So, uh, look, the sun was blocked out the day of the asteroid. Dude, this asteroid came 65 years with Adam Driver. Check the trailer if you haven't seen it. But this day... Today. This day, yeah. and that day, uh -huh. decimated a population of creatures. God's genocide came to the dinosaurs. It was one of, I think, six mass extinctions. Good God, you know that statistic? Or are you making that up? No, I think that's right on because Neil deGrasse Tyson told me this in Cosmos right before he was down at NYU like, hey girl. <sighs> oh my God, Andy Tyson. I, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he must be above the cancellation schedule because I think he literally was down at NYU trying to pick up. He took. He talks about licking mad vaginas? No, no, he was like on the street corner doing that like, hit me, like a doom. Gunk, dunk, dunk, dunk. He's more dunk, like a dunk. 1970s. I don't know what the hell that was. Was that like? Was that like? Uh, Look, I, I'm not gonna slander. That dumbstep? I'm not gonna slander this man's name. Neil deGrasse Tyson was like, bow, what, bow, what, bow. I, I'm really a big fan of Neil, Gr Neil deGrasse Tyson. Here. I just think he was at NYU. He was accused, and I think admitted. Was he accused to trying to and admitted to try to skeeve? While married on some freshman college AOS. Neil DeSkeeve Tyson. You heard it here oh, first. Yeah, look at him. He's happy. I saw him on Joe Rogan, and me and my friend were not fully impressed, even though he is very intelligent. Um, sure. He sort of is like a like a like a celebrity who's like has a shtick. And he's no who's the guy who first did Cosmos? Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan, bless him. God rest him. Yep. Look, it doesn't really... I don't even know how we got down this rabbit hole. Me Neil deGrasse Tyson's sexual, uh, you know, <laughs> mores. No. Escapades. Escapades. But today's episode is actually all about... Dinosaurs! dinosaurs! I was going to do an elephant sound. So Naz is doing the theme music for uh, the a generation. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic Park. Um, Stefan Spielberg came in here with new CGI that holds up. Right. And so Sam, Am I wrong? No, no, you're you're dead on. The interesting thing about Jurassic Park, and we'll just touch on this to get started, and then we'll get into actual dinosaurs, right. is that um A, we didn't set the timer, but B, what's more important is that in 1993. When I was the ripe old age of 12 years old and you were eleven, I mean this oh. this guy. This is who he was looking to grab. Yeah. Lunch boxes, thermoses, t-shirts, which Steven is actually Spielberg kind of, grabbed me. But that's kind of weird. 
<laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson grabbed me. It's kind of weird that um, they, in the movie, they talk about how like they package it and sell it without even thinking, but then they packaged it and sold it. And my boner was in that theater, but with a boner. Barely like my a boner. boner had a boner. You know, your boner. Have you ever seen this? Your boner was like just some like unfleshed, boyish. Unfleshed. I don't know. <laughs> so I had a literal bone in my pants when I saw this Brontosaurus for the first time. Oh, man. Along with Dr. Alan Grant and Sam Dr. Neil, uh, Elliot. Ellie. Ellie Granger. E Green. Grieger. Green. Ellie Green? Played by the incomparable Laura Linney. Nope. That was Dern. Laura, Dern. Laura Dern was up in there. Yo, who's also got in that Star Wars piece as General Holdo. Okay. After Leia dies. Another Star Wars reference coming to you free of charge. Free of charge. Yep. Actually, we won't even subscribe to the Patreon and it costs you $5 a month. Or just Only subscribe to, to the hear. YouTube channel before I have a fucking meltdown. You know what? Let's yeah. talk about this before we move on. Okay. I know dinosaurs will be spoken about, uh -huh. but we had a push for on Instagram for <laughs> one last follower to hit 100. We were at 99. And then we get 100 subscribers. Right. And we celebrate via text. I wish I had FaceTimed this boy because right. when I see his beard in my FaceTime, I say, God bless you. Right. But then two minutes later, mm -hmm. somebody unsubscribed and they are the villain of the week. Right. Villain and I'm going to start doing this, Villain of the Week. Yeah. And they're the first one. They're incognito. Unknown. They're anonymous. But they, they fucking will be killed. us. They will be killed. To hang at 99 and to see 125 people have viewed this story and not one soul came to our aid on the side of the road. Egregious. Busted sir. tire of the nightstand vehicle and we're like, <laughs> hello. Wait. We don't, we don't know how to work a jack. Yeah, dude, thinking about Nightstand as a wonky jalopy, yeah. just like... It, it pretty we just much lost is. the super red episode. <laughs> yeah. That car's broke. Dog. So we're on the side of the road in this like nasty-ass desert town. There's yeah, nothing yeah. around. But and we're like, please, we need water, we need oil, we need... uh, You know you know when cars are smoking in movies and it's yeah. like, just add water to your respirator. That's not what it's called. No, Radiator. That's what you do if someone's desperately deep on COVID. This is how much I know about... What is it? Uh, a COVID. Oh, right. I, um, I just know so much about cars. It, it bespeaks a lot. So look, whoever you are, you do what's best for your life. Did you do that? <laughs> Did you really do that? Look, I, I wanted to get back to where I was because I think this is important. Did Although you? it's not important. Look me in the eyes and say you did it. When Ellie Dern and Sam Elliott... Ellie Sadler. Sadler. So these, they roll up in the Jeep. Oh my God, dude. And they. they see. And this Sam Neill gets like. I was just about to do oh, that. Oh, sorry, go ahead. It doesn't matter. Naz wanted to do it. No, I don't even want to. It's that do whole it. like roll bar scene when they get up and they and then, see for the first time and we see for the first time in all its real glory. Wait. Michael Crichton's vision for all of us, which was a giant plant eater i did read that book michael Crichton's Same. book yeah it was like extremely violent i was very i think i was dumb at that point i could not understand the book but the most interesting part about the beginning of jurassic park is when sam neil is talking to that uh that group of archaeologists and the little boy comes up and says like no nah, like raptors or whatever and then sam neil comes at him and he's like no this is the claw it'll cut you that was you as a little boy and side by side picture they look basically the same oh a little chubby narcissist yeah, getting ready to go out in the world and like, basically, I do don't know, adventure. You could have you could have committed murder or you could have done adventure. I but do, you did adventure. Uh, adventure's really great, and we'll talk about that because Jurassic Park and the well, let's just talk about Jurassic Park. Yeah, because that's what we're doing. Quite honestly, the actual Mesozoic is that thing Mesozoic Mesozoic Jurassic Crustacean nope Crustaceous Crustaceous. Uh, Crustaceous. That's John, gonna be my pizza later. Long John Silver's. Oh my God, that fish stick. <laughs> but listen, so, here's the important part. So we go see the movie, and uh, I've talked to everybody about this in my 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 age range over the years since 1993, and everyone has agreed that the day they went and saw Jurassic Park, that it rained that day. Larry, my wife, I do not know this. She says it rained that day. I know it rained that day. It rained. I wouldn't remember because I don't remember ever. No shit. My we life. were talking earlier about show notes, and you said, and I quote, 
I don't ever listen to this motherfucker. Oh my God, was that deleted from the memory card or was that off camera? No. Oh, speaking of which, producers, how is that memory card doing? Thumbs up? Double? We got a thumbs up from the crew. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up from the crew. So geeky. We got two thumbs up for the crew, but not from that fucking person who unsubscribed. Yeah, who, who do you hell do you think you are? You just subscribe. Because anyway, you're supportive. They, do they, have, do they have feathers or scales? Dinosaurs? <laughs> no, your parents. My f pa father has scales, I would imagine. Okay, and your mother has feathers. My mother has feathers. Right. So, she floats upon the clouds. She's a beautiful woman. Yes. Always, and also always kind tactile, to me. It seems. Always kind to me. Very kind. Saying, why does he keep going in the basement? Or yeah, like why is he wearing his coat in the house on a on a family pie? It was winter. It was no, it was not winter. It was Oh, oh that's it winter. was February. Yeah, but my parents' house is temperate. It's a temperate climate. It's not like you're fucking, I don't even know, like some T-Rex that's like on Isla Morda. And that's, <laughs> and like, is like, oh, it's too hot and shit. Wait, the it's nuclear I winter and it's all that. Isla, it's Isla. Uh, Nublar. 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 Isla Nublar. It's Isla Fisher. Who married oh, Sasha Fisher. Baron Cohen? Sasha Baron Cohen, a right. great couple. Yeah, they're cute. So, they really are. Um, the dinosaurs come out. They now, do. Bad planning all around. On the I mean decent planning, but you got Dennis Nedry involved. Oh, we're still talking about Jurassic. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no. But actual dinosaurs, look, you can't We're gonna do that in the segment. Don't worry talk about real dinosaurs. Talk to me about the, the amber situation. Oh, dude. So they go in the mines. Um this lawyer's Do you wanna like, use our prop? Yeah. So this is somewhat like this is actually quartz, so it is nothing like what they find the mosquito in. But you know, John something ha hammond hammond yeah you know drilled into rock with the assistance of bd wong uh what's yeah. up svu the comparable bd wong from yeah. svu yeah um whose name is uh bd wong in oh. the show oh in the show that is a movie i don't I know i remember that I've but seen i must every say episode. he was quite sort of uh wong. george wong george wong, george wong is bd wong mm -hmm. yes <laughs> okay well look love that and wicked apathetic I mean, just really, he's, and he's, he's just so like, anyway, he's like, yeah, we just Hammond's uh, yeah. scientists go into this amber, right? right? They pull out the blood of a mosquito mm -hmm. and they genetically code that shit. And then the guy comes out and says, Hey, I'm RNA. I take G A T T A C A K like the incomparable fucking movie Gattaca with Jude Law and fucking Ben. What's his name? And then we replace it, and we replace it with like lizards and frogs, and then we get a dinosaur. Is that pretty much an accurate? I think that was so spot on. Okay. I mean, the Gattaca thing was weird, but. Yeah. And then um, Ian Malcolm's sitting there like, <laughs> that's not till later. He's sitting no. there like, no. Maybe you thought, or maybe you bought it and packaged it before the fuck. Now I'll tell you what the problem with with their knowledge is is that, is that they didn't they didn't do anything to obtain it. It was handed to them. Oh my god, is that a quote from the movie? Yeah, and he's like sweating and he's like, Shh. Dude, I love when you know things about movies because, like, when you don't, I'm like, oh, this person is literally not. That means worth I haven't out seen with. it. I know things about movies I haven't even seen. <laughs> you want to talk about Pride and Prejudice? Oh, I love Pride and Prejudice. It's a bone on a bone. Mr. Darcy. Oh my god. By the way, I was Tom cruising. From Succession, though? Hello, Mr. Darcy? Okay, time out. Tall drink. I was cruising of water. Netflix the other day Am and I, I right? saw. Tone it down, got it. Like Queen Charlotte or something, and it was a Bridgerton story. And it said... Bridgerton was hot as fuck. You know how Netflix gives you like three... It's like, oh, witty, irreverent, whatever. The last one said no, steamy. You. You're I, witty, irreverent, and steamy. I know, but as soon as I saw the word steamy, I was like a bone on a bone. Yeah, I've actually never seen you steamy. Oh. If I had, I'd kill myself. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but also, real quick, a bone on a bone? <laughs> Paleont... Uh, archaeology. Do you want to do it now? Ar <laughs> Archaeology. Oh, archaeology. That's a bone on a bone. Listen, man, I always wanted to be a paleontologist. Oh, you mean I, an archaeologist? A, no, I mean a paleontologist. That's okay. a study of dinosaurs. <laughs> At 10. So as a little boy, yes. I would be so obsessed with dinosaurs. My cousin Jen was obsessed with dinosaurs. And we would... Stop. Oh, stop it. That's, so, that's driving me No, nuts. but like when you get in there and it... In hindsight, you'd have to go get your doctorate, and then you're on these dusty sites. You're making almost zero dollars. Unless John Hammond comes and gives you that grant. Alan Grant. Isn't that weird? Huh. John Hammond gave Alan Grant 
a grant. I think that's oversight. Something yeah, happened. He just brought him to the island. Also, in Lost World, this motherfucker comes back and is like, over. He's giving a speech and he's like, over my dead body, would I go back to that island? And they're like, what if I gave you money again? And he was like, okay. Well, money makes people do things. Yeah, Are you but, just learning that? Yeah. No, he didn't. Time out, real quick. I want to draw attention to my shirt. Yes, he did. Which features uh, Godzilla. Gogeta! Godzilla, who is not a dinosaur so much as a nuclear... Um, Reactor of a lizard? Reaction Ooh, lizard. Who's that three-headed lizard? That's Larry knows. fucking... Ghidra. Ghidra! And then there was Mothra. Okay, but... So anyway... Godz we haven't even talked about fucking a triceratops. Oh, a fucking what, they pterodactyl. Have three horns. They got wings. We haven't talked about the raptors. Who gives a shit? We haven't talked about fucking. Every time you run through a list, you know the triptoclotomus. I the get a fucking... note the next week. It's like, oh, put the pterodactyl on the screen. You don't think an alligator is an actual dinosaur left over? I do. From the fuck... Okay. I also think sharks are. Ooh, yeah. I also think crocodiles are. Yeah. I also think the Komodo dragon is. Oh, 100%. Iguana. The oh, it's just a head. Uh, not even a head. Everything I've just said, everything he just said. You might be thinking, geez, I've watched this show for a while. They're usually pretty quick with those pictures. I'm not doing it. You're doing it. And I'm sending you the email saying, this is the picture. This is the picture. I'm done doing lists. Oh, my God. Are you fucking serious? The I show like is words. lists. I like words. You like words. I like words. Haven't seen a decent animation out of the show in fucking four weeks. Okay, we'll get on some animation. You want to talk about animation? Let's hear it. Let me. Oh wait, the scroll was sweet. The scroll was tight. I'm now not you doing have to it do again. it again. <laughs> no, I'm not doing no, it again. No, you have to do it again. I can't. I can't. I, I can't do the scroll anymore. You're, the scroll took me sixty minutes. You look like a dinosaur. You're growing plates out of your back. There was one time we were doing a former show, which we can never air, and we were uh, running around in our boxers drinking Coronas, yeah. and you said. What's up with your hairy back? You look like a T-Rex. shit and i still believe it wait i just said it again yeah maybe that's just like my baseline when i hang out with you it's, who said i asked oh, you do you know what t-rex means uh tyrannosaurus rex, rex which means king of lizards i think it means queen of all lizards king Bless of her lizard king jim morrison what yeah he was the lizard king Oh, dude, that brings me to a good point. Wait, I was you, on the can, you, can you just acknowledge that I said something? Yeah, Jim Morrison. So, Who, listen, uh, speaking uh, of your You music, don't even know what Jim Morrison's from. The Doors, dude. Okay, Come so, on, all right. The Doors was cool. The keyboardist was unbelievable. Why don't you break on through? But I wanted to tell you that, just so you know, Skid Row and Buck Cherry are playing at the Lynn Memorial Auditorium in September, and are you going or are you not? <laughs> no, I'm not. Why? Because Skid Row, you love. I love Skid Row from the '90s. Buck Cherry's like I would never hop listen to Buck on that bitch. Gotta get it. In. I think that actually is a song. Is of that it. the song? No, that's not even close. But I was watching Gilmore Girls recently. Song. Okay, so you're I was watching, watching Gilmore Girls. I was, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, these like three college kids are like playing in a band. They have auditions, and who walks in but Sebastian Bach from Skid Row? Oh, and he's just shredding and. Honestly, I was turned off by the writing here because the kids were like, oh my God, like he's wicked old. But yeah, he's wicked old, but he's fucking shredding. Do you want people at your show or do you want to reach 99 people at your show and then get to 100 capacity met and then some dick leaves? Oh my God, that's triggering right now. But I can't <laughs> believe you watch Gilmore Girls and haven't seen like- Oh, Rory and Lorelai? You haven't seen like- Forrest Gump. I've seen Forrest Gump multiple no, times. No, what's the one of the movies that you haven't seen? Like E.T. E. Oh um, my god. Yeah. How weird is that? I told you formerly on a different episode. Oh, on the Aliens episode. Phone Home, uh, freaking Reese's, Reese's PCs, Pieces, Bikes in the Air, and some sheriff being like, my god. Like, who cares? I know. Sheriffs back in the 80s were I like... I saw Arrival. 
Oh, Arrival Don't Rules. Don't need to see any more. Jeremy Renner, the incomparable blah, blah, blah. Wait, I don't wait, know isn't that name. Natalie Portman and Amy Adams and That's shit? Annihilation, which oh, is an incredible Annihilation movie. is the one I like. Arrival can suck. And... Annihilation, which is A-N-N-I-H-I-L-A-T-I-O-N, I believe. All right, look, we, I think we have to get to a quick segment. Yeah, let's talk about I don't dinos. even know what the fuck we're talking about. This segment is called... I don't know. What that dino? Oh, what that dino? Yo, what that dino? What that dino? What that dino? Can he go Wait, to you a have diner? Wait, di- you have dinosaurs on your phone? Of course I do. It's not only do I internet. not have dinosaurs on my phone, I don't have a phone. Dinosaurs. Does that matter? Show prep matter? No, right. I don't want a phone. But thank you uh, much for your offering Give and me kind one soul. Second. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a dinosaur, and you're going to act. You're going to tell me this should go well. There's what- no chance. Well, unless you kind of go easy on me, which you never would, because you're a fucking no. I'm going to fucking I'm going to give you an easy one to start, right. just like you did to me yep. back in the fucking with day the fish, or with whatever. The fish, with the fish. What that fish? What that fish? Is this even plugged in? This doesn't even make fucking sense. All right, well, just All give right, me I'm going to start you with a good one. I can't do this anymore. Oh my god, what a piece of shit! My pits are half. Onion weed, okay. half apricot. This isn't gonna work because okay. 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 Show me a picture. That's a raptor. That's correct. It's I don't fuck the the, ap- the appropriate name. Velociraptor. Correct. Who do you think you're talking to, bro? Uh, I was dude educated who's not gonna at get Oxford. The next one? Sure. Okay. The next one is Let's catch you at Oxford. This one looks good. Although, do you know where Oxford University is now? England. Where in England? Fucking London, bro. Across the Thames from the other one. I was going to say it was in Oxford, but I don't know. No. Actually, Because when either. I was there, I was so high yeah, you on were, LSD, you were man. in Oxford, bro. That's why I dropped out. I was so high on acid all How the time. I get this thing? Okay, Christ, I mean... Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, that's a, um... Wing bat. looking at... This? Yeah, it's a wing, wing it's bat. It's a wing bat? Wing bat. Okay, that's the Spinosaurus. So I was seriously close because I put wing in the title, and you're saying that spine is in the title. You weren't even close. Uh, uh, let's just give you this crazy one. Sure. <laughs> this is an ocean dweller. Ninety-seven creature. subscribers. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you? You did Would it. Did you? You filthy. Okay. This guy is looking pretty sweet. Nightstand's a good pre-sleep show. What you got? This is... Ooh! Oops, fuck. Oh, wow. It looks like you. Why is it still doing that? Because you fucked I'm trying to block the name. Um, oh it's a, it's a, 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 a dif- Diphonosaurus. Okay. This is the Ichthyosaur. I was close. You were incorrect. But I said the word sore. Well, that's how all dinosaurs nah. are named. Sore is important. Sores are important, like the sores you have on your perineum. And then I'll give you a really easy one. Do you want to talk about the sores you have on your perineum? Oh my god, what is a perineum? It's the space between. Ew! <laughs> Dude, what kind of horrid sore are you? I don't know. Okay, who's this? That's a, uh, it looks like a pterodactyl. Okay, great guess. It's a fucking pteranodon! Who would know this shit, Naz? You're supposed to do Triceratops, Stegosaurus, T-Rex. I gave you one easy one, and then I was like, fuck this kid. So you're not even interested in my well-being, is what you're saying. There's no way you're guessing dinosaurs. I guess the point is, huge fucking lizards crawled the earth, and then now this giant lizard crawls the earth. Yeah, growl. Uh, An asteroid came, smoked the whole earth. Growl an asterisk at the bottom. Sure. Thanks. A whole... Uh, the earth got smoked. Smoked big time. And it was like, ooh, shit, that's a sore on my perineum. Oh, F- the in-between. Yeah, that space between. So the earth is going to live a lot longer until the sun explodes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, if we had the Superman episode preceding this, we could say, you know, the yellow sun. Yeah, which you fucked up. Of earth. I was calling it the red sun of earth. It's, Have I ever seen the sun? It's the red sun of Krypton. Though, although, although. As I'm preparing a nice breakfast for myself. Yes, sir. I look on my skylight. Yes. I see a red sun. Heard. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I click on the news. I don't even know what is on the news. Blood moon. They're like, it's the Canadian motherfuckers. No, no, no. The wildfires. What? Oh, the wildfires. They like blocked out the sun and turned it red. No, the last cool time the moon was red that I moon, remember. Moon, I'm saying sun. Oh, fuck. Jesus, Naz. 
you I get to, to get into. A, I feel like I'm on the Truman Show with this fucking YouTube light. You Did can you show miss... a picture of it on the screen. This shit's crazy. Did you miss? I literally feel like Jim Carrey, like. You could never be as important as Jim Carrey and his all of his paintings and his self But what about when he gets on the interviews and he's like, no, oh, fuck you, interviewer. I'm not. Wh I why are you question. on the interview? I, I went down a rabbit hole with this. I texted Sergey about this. I said, I'm done with Jim Carrey. I don't want to talk anymore about Jim Carrey. He's on an interview so, talking about how he's done with the camera and done with interviews. You're on an interview. Maybe you haven't seen Mr. Poppins' Penguins or fucking Bruce Almighty. Maybe you've missed the classics. No, I saw Bruce Almighty, but I wouldn't have watch... Have you ever seen um, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind? I have. They're on the ice doing you their shit. You love that shit. I like that. I feel like that's your shit. I'm fine with... Like, lost times and fucking weird memories of heartthrob. I was quite the heartthrob back in, I'd say, somewhere in the 13 to 15 range. Man, I don't even remember. Well, you wouldn't didn't remember five minutes ago. But then what happened was, I fell in love, bruh. Yeah, I'd be jealous of the beard if you had cleaned it up a little bit. I don't want... I, what does it matter to you if this is shaved or not? This is public television. You have to fuck it. I don't know where you think you if are. If Hollywood's going to be giving you a call and saying, I don't want to work with Hollywood. It. This is it? No. You think it's Holly weird? You want to talk about lizards? How about lizard people in Hollywood? Oh, shit. That's a real thing. You Just can look kidding. that I'm up. throwing that out there for some of my good friends downtown. <laughs> He just dapped on some people. But, you know, the dinosaurs episode has been freaky. Uh, is that camera still rolling? God it really bless is. It. God bless it. Yeah, thank God. Otherwise, what would we be doing here? The same Talking thing. Talking to each other in chairs. No, it would be the same thing, but there would be no camera. Making us truly insane. Speaking of Truman Show, why would it matter if we were filmed? Because we, we want... We would just need to escape. We want people to believe... That we are doing God's work. You know what? <laughs> if nightstand isn't God's work, then I'm getting a divorce. Oh, yeah. No, like a like an employment divorce from this situation. You know what? We could do this show one time with a fucking bathroom partition right here. So you can't see me and I can't see so you. So we're just going to be naked? No, I'm going to be doing this. Oh, I'm right. gonna, I always do that. Oh, I, I don't even notice you. Really? You're subhuman to me. I haven't heard a word you've said since episode five. <laughs> Look, we gotta go. Uh, join us next week when we cover something very special. I don't even want to spoil it, actually, because the title might turn you off. But I think it's a. Do you, I mean, no, what? don't do it. Uh, yeah, no, I can't spoil it. Stay tuned. Look for be a banger. Instagram posts. If you know the person that unsubbed, stab them into their heart, cut down all the way to their um, genitals, then cut up, do a little fucking freestyle, and then, yeah, for us. Don't ever watch Lost World. Mm. Don't. Unsubscribe like a villain ass bitch. <laughs> Don't ever watch Jurassic Park three. No, Jurassic has, Park three is tight. Jurassic Park has Dr. Alan Grant, Lost World, and Jeff, just Jeff Goldblum. I know. Moore. Yeah, 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 I know. The producer Lost just Lost be Lost out here. No, no, no. I didn't speak about shit. Lost World. I didn't speak about Lost World with Alan Grant. I would never do that shit. I remember listen, Jeff listen, Goldblum listen. completely changed his character in in Lost World. He wasn't even a smoothie and Malcolm He's anymore. A straight he was some, man. He was some straight dude, like, straight as in, like, a straight... How do you even describe that? Uh, that was your fault. Uh, fucking, uh, you walked into that. Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying... He was just, like... Lost world. I have this daughter kingdom. now. And by the way, she did some badass gymnastics. She's, like, the young... God, the only time I need to remember her I name. mean, my God, sir. So, look... We we want to thank you for yeah, your participation you in this episode, and we're going to be leaving right now. Can't wait till the third episode. It's going to be a banger. Hope we lost this one. Don't eat gelatin.